uh, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be teaching you about individual bones, which are very important for you to know during the spotters. This is the fetal skull. Very easy to identify, it has the numerous frontal lace here, and you can make out the metopic suture, the most easiest point to see. The metopic suture is missing in adult skull. This will be the fetal skull. Spotters, fetal skull, write two relevant points about that. This one, you can make out the bones are kept like this. So you just you just touch it and see. It, it should be the frontal bone. Frontal bone. Well, how do you know it? It has these two orbital plates here, the nasal bone region, and this is the frontal bone. Very easy. Do not confuse with parietal bone or any other bone. This is frontal bone. Have a look. Next we have is the mandible sorry extremely sorry please pardon me this is the occipital bone occipital how do i say this it has an internal occipital protuberance there then it has an external occipital protuberance here and the nuchal lines but the point of identification will be foramen magnum very easy foramen to make out the biggest foramen this is the occipital bone no confusions just observe every bone has something to identify in here we have this one the foramen magnum occipital bone it's the temporal bone very easy again very easy every bone has a distinct feature this one will be your zygomatic bone present here as well as you have your uh, um, master apparatus external acoustic meatus is present here and uh, this is the internal tubes there this is the petrous part of the temporal bone. So I would go, this spotter is, if it kept like that, just identify this as temporal bone. No, this is not at all frontal bone. This is parietal. Please observe. It's completely having the, this, this parietal bone is two in number. So this is the parietal bone, completely quadril angle shape with a upper parietal eminence and groove most beautiful feature here will be groove for the middle meningeal artery you can observe there it's the only distinguishing feature in parietal bone the sphenoid very easy it looks like sort of a thing you have a greater wing of sphenoid a lesser wing of sphenoid sphenoid bone appears like this it's kept generally like this it's a very delicate bone so uh, this is a sphenoid bone questions asked pertaining to that you can write about it very easy again maxilla I don't know why students get confused with this it's the maxilla obviously you can see the alveolar arch there here this region and you can see the infraorbital foramen you can see this particular thing that is the orbital plate you can see this thing what is this the uh, maxillary air sinus is present here and easy for identification for dental students very commonly kept and uh, this will be the maxillary bone in this case it's like left no need to tell this is the mandible very easy to identify i'll explain you mandible in a separate video completely the full osteology of mandible will be explained most of the students get confused with this bone it's not at all they, they, they think it's not important for dental students. This is the atlas, the first cervical vertebrae. Only two vertebrae are named, thank God. Atlas and axis. So this will be the atlas, the first uh, bone. Do remember, this will take part in the um, formation of the atlanto occipital joint. The mandible, obviously, a younger age mandible. You can make out that the third, even the second molar is just coming up here. And it may be the age, maybe about 10 to 15 years. It varies, but uh, this is a mandible and uh, age, certain age changes in the mandible, you can observe in this. Very small mandible. Uh, again, you can please see the comparison of these two mandibles here. How, e they, how they differ in size. You can observe this, uh, the mandible here. It's almost this part is edentulous, maybe extracted even this region, uh, the left uh, molar region. And this is a very small, hardly ever age, about below 10 years. Uh, so these are the age changes in mandible, what you observe. And uh, very easy to identify the bones. 
It's a very small video. All the bones have been kept. Parietal has been kept for you there. There is an occipital bone. Let me, let me autofocus. Yeah. Then there is your uh, maxilla. Then there is a sphenoid, mandible, occipital. You have your atlas here, the fetal skull, the frontal bone. Few things for the insurance, it's going to be very easy, no confusions. It's all very, very simple. Yes, in my separate video, you'll come across how to identify the which side it is, right or left, the mostly the uh, parietal bone, because we have single frontal, single occipital, two parietal, two temporal, and single mandible, two maxillas. So let me just tell you how to identify these bones later on. Thank you.